kidney infection, how to treat kidney infection or pyelonephritis, please don't scroll. This video will really help you a lot, anybody, because this is in regards to urinary tract infection, okay? So I'm going to be telling you about what this means, pyelonephritis, what causes it, the signs and symptoms, how to treat it, how to prevent it from reoccurring, and how to prevent anybody at all from having this, okay? It is very painful. So, and when you leave it untreated, it can damage the kidneys. It can lead to chronic kidney injury. It can failure. It can damage the kidney. So, please give me your undivided attention. There is no rush. I'm not rushing in this video, okay? Because many people are in this and they have been on my DM literally begging because it keeps coming back, okay? So, now. Infection and um, pyelonephritis is simply means infection of the kidneys by bacteria that travel up from the urinary tract. They find their way, these bacteria multiply, they travel from the urinary tract and then to the kidneys. Okay, it is usually caused by UTI, untreated urinary tract infection. So, when urinary tract infection is not treated adequately, for those that don't know how to treat urinary tract infection or those that it keeps coming back or that keeps treating it and it keeps coming back. I have a video on that on my YouTube page. You can watch it. So when it's not treated, urinary tract infection is not treated. It multiplies and then finds its way, you know, from the bladder, finds its way up to the kidneys. And when it's not treated too, the kidney will fail. Okay, so this is what all the important things you should know. Now, let's talk about signs that may suggest you're having pyelonephritis. Number one, having high fever, okay? constantly having high fever your urine smells oh i have a lot of questions on this people are telling me that their urine are smelling and uh, whatever is smelling like ammonia is smelling smelling badly please you need to see a doctor um you're having um pain serious pain at your back groin okay like at your back like this you're having pain um you're you're feeling like vomiting nausea and vomiting your urine is painful when you're urinating is painful you have this burning sensation when you're urinating and um sometimes before you get to the bathroom you've peed on your body and you have you want to urinate you know your bladder is full but once when, when you want to urinate you see that the urine just keeps dribbling but you know your bladder you have urine these are suggestive signs of pyelonephritis or even urinary tract infection. So if you're noticing any of these signs, please meet a doctor. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you um, what will prone you if you don't have this infection yet. If you don't have this kidney infection yet, these are the things that will, you know, increase your chances of having pyelonephritis. Okay. Number one, being a woman. Now, women, the, the way our anatomical structure is, makes it hard for us to, makes it easy for us to have your current um, urinary tract infection because our reproductive organ is, um, you know, the vagina is close to the anus. So sometimes traveling of bacteria from the inner region to the vagina is frequent, okay? So this is it, being a woman. Number two, having kidney stones, okay? So... Kidney stone, if you had kidney stones before, um, oh, sorry, if you had, you had kidney stone stones and, you know, having it and the kidneys, the stone is not going out and then you start noticing that you don't urinate again, your urine becomes in your bladder, it stays there, you know, it will make, because urine has a lot of bacteria in them, so staying in your bladder and you're not urinating them out, makes this bacteria to multiply and find their way to your urinary tract and go up there and cause infection. So, if you have kidney stones, please um, try as much as you can to um, treat them. I also have a video on my YouTube on how to deal with kidney stone, causes, how to remove it, and symptoms and everything. So, 
kidney stones there are some that you can urinate why there are some that you cannot urinate out so and i've told you things to help you to on this channel so find the video and um you know watch it so kidney stones is another one now the next thing is um having you've had pyelonephritis before okay reoccurring pyelon you've had kidney infection before the um chances of it reoccurring again is high now having any urinary obstruction some people their urinary tract is um they maybe the kidney stone blocks any part of the urinary maybe as it's coming out it blocks any part of the urinary tract <laughs> Or blood clots blocks any part of the urinary tract. This can make urine to go back, you know, stasis of urine. And also urinary stricture. And also sometimes pregnancy, when the fetus, you know, the baby hangs down, you know, presses um, the urinary tract and, you know, stasis of urine. The person can urinate sometimes, okay? This can cause pyelonephritis. Most pregnant women suffer this kidney infection because the baby is pressing on the urinary tract and they can't urinate as frequent and the urine is, you know, causing multiplication of bacteria and then it travels to the kidney and cause infection. Okay? Now, um, having known these chances, these things that can um, increase your chances of having pyelonephritis, now let's get to how is, is pyelonephritis diagnosed having these symptoms is not enough to say that you have pyelonephritis when you have these symptoms all you need to do is go to a doctor they will send you to run tests urinalysis find out if there's protein glucose or um you know urine um any abnormality blood in your urine then during mcs microscopy they will find out the bacteria if there's the bacteria some are visible the bacteria that is causing this condition okay from where they will give you antibiotics. Most of the time, sometimes they might not really find the bacteria, but sometimes they find the bacteria too. Okay, so um, you do imaging, you do scan, they will find out if the kidney is um, enlarged, what is going on. You do MRI, depending, that's on the description of your the doctor handling you. Now, there are two types of pyelonephritis. There's chronic and there's acute. Now, most people have um, acute, but if your own keeps reoccurring, that means you have chronic and you really need to, you know, be careful, right? And um, I will tell you things to do to always prevent this from reoccurring. Now, the acute is when this happens the first time and, you know, it just happens and the person gets treated and that's it. Then chronic is when you treat yourself, it, it keeps coming back. Your key, every time you're treating kidney infection, then you're in the category of people that has chronic. Now, how to treat this infection? Please do not go to a pharmacy to treat this infection that is the problem most of my followers my my patients are doing okay people that come to chat me up they go to pharmacy they go to test and the test tells them um they go to do investigation or the doctor tells them they have pyelonephritis the next thing they go to pharmacy because they want it to be cheaper no please don't go to a pharmacy to take medical to treat this it will reoccur okay so your doctor do, having done all of this investigation gives you an antibiotic based on the result of the urine of the microscopy he has done if the bacteria is seen okay sometimes it is not seen they just prescribe um um you know broad spectrum antibiotics for you now the problem now is that most people have been subjected to so many um antibiotics that none works for them so this is why you should really need to be careful on taking antibiotics antibiotics like that so before your doctor prescribe antibiotics most of the times they might want to run a sensitivity test antibacterial um sensitivity um antibiotic sensitivity test for you so this is what you will not get in the pharmacy because the pharmacy will not run any test it will just give you drugs not knowing that that drugs big drugs that he thinks is giving you you're not you're sensitive to it and it will not work on you and so when you take the drugs you feel like you're okay after some days and then it will go back it will come back and it will come back times 20 okay so this is why you need to be in treating pyelonephritis and some other infection you need to work hand in hand with a doctor now very important is please i know it might be um expensive
if possible if you can afford it i feel you should treat your kidney infection with a nephrologist a nephrologist is a doctor that has to do with the kidneys okay i really wish you can afford or a urologist better if, especially if you're a man please it will really help um you know please so these are the things that the pharmacy won't do for you okay um the doctor will do for you so please make sure you don't treat it in a pharmacy now the pharmacies what they also do is to give you painkillers sometimes they give you painkillers and um you don't even know you're having kidney infection and it stops okay and this this most of these painkillers then when you finish it you now go and get them on your own you continue on a round circle of taking painkillers these things destroys your kidneys it will even cause kidney failure it will damage your kidneys now, go and locate that videos on things that damage 12 things that damages your kidneys i think i explained this there so beware of the way you take painkillers okay so your doctor gives you the antibiotics with the test he has run and found out the anti especially if you're having chronic your pilot the you know kidney infection keeps your calling so they do this test and find out the antibiotics that you're not resistant to and they give it to you now this is where another thing comes in please if they give you the antibiotics finish the course finish them finish it if it's 14 days make sure you finish it 14 days and you take it judiciously okay so so if you're having pain they also give you pain medications and um during this process try to drink lots of water and you know eat fruits um fiber fruits that will help you okay try not to stress the kidneys so much reduce your limits on um, protein intake you can take fish limits just eat protein but not so much okay and if you're smoking please stop smoking alcohol stop during this process if you're having kidney infection so now having um said about this let's get to things how to prevent pyelonephritis from reoccurring now or if you don't have it at all if you've treated pyelonephritis that's infection of the kidney before um make sure you do all measures to prevent urinary tract infection which is try to urinate after sex okay immediately after sex you urinate then wash up if you're a woman wash up and try to wipe, wipe if you're cleaning your bum bum or your vagina you try to wipe from front to back not back to front from back means you're you're wiping from your anus down inside your vagina so you're you see you're bringing my bacteria from the anus down inside your vagina and this is going to Put infection there okay same thing as a man so try to drink lots of water it is very especially after sex and try to you need cranberry juice is good try to take cranberry juice okay try to you know take those food that i told you that are good for your kidneys and that will detox your kidneys is on the video is on on this my youtube page uh, okay i'm yet to post it I will, i'll post the video tomorrow next fruits food that would detox your kidneys food that are good for your kidneys how to detox your kidneys that's the next video i'm going to post so or just um follow me and subscribe ask me questions if you have any if you're having kidney infection i hope this video will help you a lot have a good day